sir. Uh, DeMarco, congratulations. Um, what do you feel like your strengths will be in the NFL? We see where you, you're a guy who's around the ball and gets a lot of tackles. What do you feel like your strengths will be in the NFL? I mean, for me, I say my strengths are just my instincts, my preparation, or then just, just being a ball player, just high IQ. I play, like I said, I, I'm ready to play any position they need me at will, might, and I'm just a good, I'm a great special teams guy as well. Which have you been more comfortable with, Will or Mike? I mean, really, in our type of defense, everybody plays the same position. So, I mean, I said Will or Mike, I'm just ready, just excited to get the news and get to work. Marco, were you guys in a 3-4 at App State? Um, We was in like a – it was a 3-4, but kind of like a – we had an edge rusher always coming from the field or the boundary, depending on the um, depending on the calls. Really like a four three, a stand up four three. Do you feel like your blitzing ability is kind of something that's maybe a little bit uh, underrated? It seems like you had a good amount of pressures. Yeah, I feel. I mean, I feel like if you watch my um tape, I feel like I got to the ball pretty. I like, I get back there pretty good. I feel like that's something I can home in more and make some make something happen, make some more things happen. What, what do you think makes you effective there? Is it just explosiveness, studying the opponent? Like what was kind of the key to, to being effective as a blitz? Um, I would say explosiveness and um and just my just studying the opponent, just week like days, just studying, watching a bunch of film, watching a bunch of reading the numbers and stuff like that. I was uh, reading the bio and it says that you do some bull riding and, and calf wrestling. Like, what, is that, uh, is, is that, is that kind of your thing growing up on the farm? Yeah. So like me and my family, we had like, we had cattle farming and that was like a thing we did like calf wrestling and things like that. So, I mean, it was a, it was a hobby of ours. Hey, Marco, what, what kind of what was your contact like with the Saints in this pre-draft process? Were they like kind of one of the teams that were on you a lot, or you didn't hear from them much? So I mean, I interviewed with them going through the Senior Bowl and the and pretty much they came and worked me out on pro day and it went silent, and I was just surprised to get the call, you know. Do you know anything about what they do defensively? Like, I, I don't know, do you watch, like, the Mario Davis stuff or anything like that? Yeah, I watch players. I don't really want – like, I watch my defense a lot going through app. But like, I watch a lot of players and their skills to try to, you know, just to grab things that help them out at the next level and to try to emphasize it and, like, use it in my game. DeMarco, why don't you share with us what your day's been like uh, just waiting to, to, to get the call? So for me, I mean, I woke up, I was probably up about 6.30 this morning, just waiting, just, I mean, just thinking, thinking on it, thinking on it. And for me, it was just, my stomach was in knots. So, I mean, going through the whole draft process, you just, you just watching the TV and you just have a, a list of teams that you know that could be a possible, but you just keep waiting and waiting. And I mean, it was just like, a, like this, my stomach was in knots. Then when I seen the call, it was just, it was like my stomach dropped and just a bunch of relief and just ready, like relief and just, just happiness, you know. How big do you think the senior bowl was for you, just like as far as getting drafted? For me, I mean, it was it was a great opportunity. I'm, I'm thankful that Jim Nagy hosts at the senior bowl. It was a great opportunity meeting the other players, meeting the coaches, getting out there to go against the top talent. And just, just showing your talent. So I feel like it put me in a great spotlight, and I'm, I'm glad I got to be a part of that. Jamarco, you said you look at a lot of players to see what you can learn from them. Who are some of the ones that you've been able to take useful stuff from? So, like, linebacker-wise, I watched a lot of coming in, watched Devin White, Fred Warner, Darius Leonard, um, just a lot of, like, Bobby Wagner. They just clips they got on YouTube, and I just like watch there. I like to hear them talk, and I like to watch their film. 
Marco, what was your experience like uh, coming down here for the New Orleans Bowl? Like, what do you remember about being in the city then? I mean, for the New Orleans Bowl, it was pretty locked in. We were, it was pretty locked in, and pretty much I didn't really went to ate some ate at some places downtown on Bourbon Street, and really it was like my first time trying some like oysters, and it was pretty good, like fried oysters. Works for me. Got to get you off of Bourbon Street though. Yeah, yeah. Marco, you're the uh, third uh, player the Saints have taken from the Senior Bowl. Did you, did you meet the Trevor Penning, Alante Taylor, either one of them uh, at the Senior Bowl? I mean, at the, I like we passed through the hallways, but I never really like got a chance to like sit down and talk to them. There was a lot of interviews, a lot of practice time, so I didn't really have the time just to sit down and talk. But I, we, I, we definitely crossed paths. What's uh, some of the stuff you do on special teams? Say that one more time. What's some of the stuff uh, you do on special teams? I do, I mean, kickoff, punt, punt return, kick return. Like, I feel like if you go through my App State history, special teams is how I made my way to the field. Thank you, man. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you.